hello everyone so in this video we will see how we can upgrade our java from java 8 to java 17 on the windows machine so if you are using the selenium web driver most of us we have started with the java 1.8 version right but on the official website on the selenium they have already announced that uh, they will stop the support for the java 8 on september 30 this year okay so java 11 or java 17 you can use for selenium web driver so you need to upgrade your java on the system to later version of the java 8 so it can be java 11 or java 17 so i will show you how you can set up your uh, selenium web driver project in the intellij with the java 17 and uh, in the eclipse as well so currently i have java 1.8 on my local system so i need to uninstall the java 8 and install java 17 so press windows r and appwiz.cpl click ok so from here you can uninstall the java 8 now you can install the java 17 or java 11 so go to the official website of the oracle and from here you can download the java 17 installer so double click on the installer file to start the installation so java 17 is installed successfully okay now open the environmental variable to set the java home so here click on new and here you can set the java underscore home okay and in the path you need to add the path up to the bin folder in the java home so I, we have already added the java home after that slash bin so once java 17 setup is done on your local system let us uh, update our java in the intellij and the eclipse project so let's say this is the selenium project i have created uh, run multiple xmls okay so normally we use the uh, maven compiler source as 1.8 for the java 8 version so here i need to update my java to 17 okay so both source and target make it as 17 so these two properties i have used in the maven compiler plugin okay so that value will be used here for the source and target for the compiler plugin okay so go to the file go to the project structure so here you will find in the intellij for the project uh, this 1.8 is already added okay previously so we need to update to java 17 so to add the sdk 17 you can directly click on on this sdks so from here we can add the java 17 that we have installed on our system so it is already detecting the sdk that we have just installed on our local system in the c drive okay so you can directly click on that or you can click on add jdk and go to the java location and click on ok so once java 17 is added in the sdks you can go to the project setting then click on project so from this SDK drop down select the java 17 so for this language level drop down it is not mandatory to select the lts version as java 17 so still if you face any issue in the intellij you can select the java 17 here as well so another thing is if your project containing the multiple modules okay if your project is a multiple modules maven project then for every module you can select the different language levels okay so from this modules you can select the language level as 17 as well so these are the uh, few changes you need to do in the intellij so once it is done click on apply and click on ok so indexing java 17 might take some time till that let's check the java origin from here so once everything is done click on this icon so this will load the maven changes so we have changed our properties to java 17 so click on the update so if you are using the latest version of the selenium java 4.13 that might not uh, support the java 8 okay so you need to install the java 11 or java 17 so let's try to run this main project now with the java 17 so from this main section i will use the live cycle as test so it has taken the java version that we have installed in the on the local system So build success so everything works fine with the java 17 as well so i will open the same project in the eclipse 
So if you are using the Eclipse IDE for your Selenium automation, same thing you need to do. You need to update the source and target in the pom.xml file. So for changing the compiler, just go to the window, then go to the preferences. Click on this Java. Click on the compiler. So from here, by default, it will take the Java 17 as we have installed on our local system. Okay, so you need to make sure that Java 17 is in, uh, selected here. Then click on install JREs. So for the Eclipse, it has taken the Java 17 from the Eclipse files. So still you can add the Java 17 that you have installed on the local system. So click on the add, then select the standard VM. Go to the location where Java is installed. Select folder. So you can update any JRE name as per your requirement. So I will give local JDK 17 and click on finish. So instead of Eclipse Java 17, I will use the the local one and click on apply apply and close so once it is done right click on your main project then go to the properties click on the java build path so here we need to add the java 17 that you have just installed so i will remove this the by default java 17 from the eclipse Then click on add library, then select the JRE system library. So from here, I will select the alternate uh, JRE, click on install JREs. So here we have just added our Java 17 that is installed on the local system. So select that checkbox and click on apply, apply and close. So from the alternate JRE, I will select the local JDK 17, right, and click on finish. So click on apply, apply and close. So on the left hand side you can see JRE system library it is showing local JDK 17 now. So we have changed the to use the Java 17 from our local system program files. So let's run this project now. So I will right click on the project, go to the run as and name and test. So it has taken the Java 17 from the C program files. So this is how you can upgrade your Java version from Java 8 to Java 17 on the Windows and uh, the setting that you need to update in the IntelliJ IDEA and Eclipse Maven project. Thank you.